All right, welcome to another episode of Wayne's World Garage. Today's project is we got to move a couple of uh, sticks out of the woods that are 18 foot long to take them to the mill to make some deck boards for Charlie's uh, hay wagons. Charlie's an 83 year old guy and more active and stronger than most people we know today. He's a good man, but he needs some fence. He needs some boards for the deck for his uh, hay wagons. We gave him a bunch of wood last year, and now we're getting him a little bit more wood. So to do this, I'd normally like to use this log arch, but the log arch um, is really only good for 12 foot long piece of wood. It's designed for most of the wood we drag out of the woods and up to 32 inch diameter um, logs. So these are 18 foot long because hay wagons are 18 foot long. So what we'll do instead is we'll take our, our tongs, our log tongs, and uh, the tractor and we'll lift one end of them up and we'll drag them out of the woods that way and load them up in a trailer and we'll see where it goes and just uh just nothing anybody really cares we do this this is a 20 year old uh, john deere 4400 seems to work out pretty well um we have ballast in the tires which is critical if you ever want to use these things um and, and add some stability and traction it's four-wheel drive it's 37 horsepower something like that Pretty much more than enough horsepower. The important thing though is on the three point hitch, we've got this eye match attachment. Um, it's 2020, they've been doing this for a long time now. Three point hitches are great, but there's a thing of the 50s and 60s. Um, these little things work great. And what I did is I welded up this little bracket here for a trailer hitch and up chain on it and stuff like that. And that's how we're gonna drag these bad boys out. Let's, uh, let's hit the road. And believe it or not, we do wear seatbelts on this because the rollover system is useless without the seatbelts on it. All right, well, here we are. We got these two pieces they cut the other day. They're 18 foot long. Somebody made a comment on my, uh, on one of the videos I had that I call these guys sticks. Well, you know what? Where I come from, they're sticks. You can see how big it is. It's, it can't be more than 16 inches, maybe 18 inches tops. Um, it is 18 foot long though. Um, but we don't really have logs down here. This is all third generation trees. They cut them all pretty much during the Civil War period. They were cut in the 60s and 70s. So this is third growth trees. Um, this is a poplar, and poplar we think is usually a pretty garbage wood, which it is, it's horrible firewood. But all the tobacco barns around here are made out of poplar. And the poplar, when you put it vertical and you keep it dry and water comes off of it, um, it, um, it lasts a very, very, very long time. And it turns out to be a really nice hardwood. So it's soft when it's wet, but once it, uh, dries out it turns out pretty good so let me do this we're gonna turn the tractor around and we will uh, hook this thing up and see how it works dragging it out a little bit
So what did we just do here? Well, the trees were taken out here have fallen down naturally. So if you take a look at this guy, there's a big root ball down here. Although it's a nice poplar tree, so I hate to let it go. So when they fall down, they, of course, don't fall exactly where we want them to. And this one, of course, was wedged between this little um, beech tree here and this uh, looks like a little white oak tree here. And you couldn't quite pull them out, which I kind of expected, but I was hoping, but hope's not a plan. So we ended up taking it, pulling it forward a little bit. So it cleared this little tiny white oak down there. And when it cleared the tiny white oak down there, I was able to pull it out and get it in line to connect it to the tractor and then yank it home. So again, this guy's 18 foot long. He's poplar, so he's not real heavy. Um, I don't use the log tongs. I'd rather not use the log tongs when I'm actually dragging these guys home. I'd rather put a chain around them, connect them to the three point hitch. Still gotta be careful though. Um, the nice thing is now I can raise it and I can lower it. Um, and it's very, very, very secure. So the other thing, just to push the point home, driving a tractor in the woods here, um, not dangerous, but it can be. So there's all sorts of debris on the ground. So always wear your seat belts, always keep the ROPS up, rollover protection system. It's pretty worthless if it's down, acting as a sunshade. And again, they do nothing if you have no seat belt on. So now, with any luck, let's uh, see if we can pull this thing out of here. All right, well, here we are. These are these two sticks. Of, some people call them logs, but they're too small to be real logs. But they're 18 foot long, and they'll make nice deck boards for Charlie's uh, hay wagons, we hope. Not gonna get a lot out of them, but we only need, you know, hay wagons are eight and a half foot wide or so, um, 18 foot long, so I think we'll do okay. And if not, we'll grab some more wood. And next step here is to load these puppies up onto uh, the trailer, which, with an undersized tractor like this takes a little bit of uh, ingenuity. Work like an Egyptian, man. 